Hi guys and welcome to your November 2019. This is going to be the Divine Energy Oracle message for the beautiful sign of Pisces. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Here is my fish. Hold on. Hello Pisces. There you go. All right. Pisces, you are one of two zodiac signs that are crossing with not one, not two, but three energies this month. You are crossing with an Aquarius for June of 2019, a Gemini for July of 2019, and a Gemini for August of 2019. So, Pisces, there's a, a strong Gemini influence in your life right now. I have no idea who this Gemini is and what they represent to you. Um, you're crossing with air, okay? You are mutable water. You're crossing with fixed air and you're double crossing with mutable air. Um, when I see that much of a cross like that, I'm, I'm, I'm leaning, I automatically lean towards those double crossing energies as a person uh, because you're going to continue to cross with this person, uh, which means that typically as a child, sometimes um, it is um, a person um more 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 often than most it is a person so you are being guided to embrace your power okay embrace your power that makes sense if this is a person um i feel as if this is something that you have um made this Put it like this. I'm, I'm trying to get it out. It has something to do with a decision. It has something to do with a decision, okay? A decision that you've made. I want to say to you, though, I hope that this Mercury retrograde in Scorpio season, in the sign of Scorpio, finds you well and in good spirits. This embracing your power message could be directly correlated with Mercury in retrograde. And you're being guided to embrace that power because there's something that you have to go back and evaluate. Um, you're going to be highly reflective over the decisions that you've made. You're going to be going back and thinking about how these decisions have affected you. Um, and I'm feeling like moving forward, hopefully, especially going into 2020, you will start to embrace your power a little bit more. Let's go ahead and get into it. So Pisces, oh, and before we get started, remember, if you're crossing with another energy, I am going to read the divine invitation. That is the invitation that is going to allow you to, you know, focus on what you need to do to get you one step closer to your divine energy. If you want to go back and watch those videos, you can, IGTV as well as Facebook. Um, and for those of you who don't want to go and do that, you can always wait to next month when I give you the divine invitation and when I give you your year in review that's coming. So Pisces, your divine invitation is to evaluate your previous choices without judgment. Which of your past decisions have worked in your favor and which ones have not? Most importantly, what are you choosing today? Now it is time to honestly start making choices that express your divine nature and serve and serve your true soul intentions. Now, Pisces, making decisions is not necessarily always a strong suit for you. What um, will, if you are a Pisces son, what will hurt, I mean, what, what will help you, it would be how your emotional, what's driving your emotional nature. So what's your moon sign? But if you have Pisces um, anywhere else, it can help um, if you are Pisces sun and you have Pisces. Um, but if you have Pisces um, anywhere else, it could hurt. I think that, um, you know, helping or hindering really depends on your specific chart. But I feel like I understand that making decisions is not always a strong suit for you unless you have a very earthy or very fiery energy now that fiery energy is going to obviously make you make impulsive decisions um and earth energy can help you make a decision but depending on the nature um you can be a little bit you know each energy brings their own thing so i don't know what this aquarius uh, maybe you're being guided you know 
to tap into and make better decisions, especially Aquarius is a very fixed energy. It's like, nope, that's it. I'm done. That's the decision. And then this Gemini energy, I really don't feel like this Gemini is an energy. It could be. I really feel like this Gemini is a person. So um, you let me know. But again, you're being guided to embrace your power for November of 2019. So I certainly hope that resonate with, resonated with at least one Pisces out there. Like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. I'm going to bring you your year in review. I'm going to also um, give you your last um, Divine Energy Oracle message for the month of December. That's next month. And I am going to be introducing the new deck. If you are interested in tarot readings, please go and check out readings by, well, readings by Marvelous Madame on the main channel. And everybody else, I will see you here next month when we do it again. Okay. Bye, Pisces. See you soon.